NDMeTV.com, the Everybody Network. From Palm Springs, California, it's Curiosity with your host, Renee Poingard. Here's Renee. Hi, and welcome to Curiosity. I'm your host, Renee Ponyard, and do we have a hot one for you today. You can look at my guest. She's looking super sharp today, and we're going to find out exactly who Kirsten is. Hi, and Hi. welcome to the show. Thank you. Oh, you look so pretty. I love the bling bling. Thank you got more bling on than what I'm blinging. <laughs> all right, so tell me something. I want to know all about you. Okay, so I'm Kirsten. Mm -hmm. I am 24. Uh -huh. I'm the youngest of three girls. Uh huh. Yes, and I'm so I'm the baby. You're the baby. Yes. Single. I'm married. Oh, how long yes. have you been married? A year. A year. Congratulations. Yes. Is it still honeymoon? Oh yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. What do people say? I'm going to tell you right now. I feel that you are a very strong person. Yes. So what do people say about you? <laughs> that. <laughs> they say you're yes. strong. Okay. So what else? For sure. So I'm I'm definitely a strong person. I have a very strong personality. Um, I'm just honest. I'm honest. I'm fun. I like to have a good time. Um, I am somebody who I feel that people either... There's no in between with me. Mm. You either like me mm. or you don't like me. Mm. Come <laughs> there's, on, girl. There's, there's no in between. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if it's my honesty. Um, I, I'm not one that really knows how to sugarcoat too well. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I just believe in telling people the truth. Now, I definitely tell people the truth and love. But, um, you know, people receive it differently. And if you don't really know me, then... It's really hard to kind of, mm. you know. So let me ask you know. another question that I'm yes. just sort of curious to know. Okay, so you know that about yourself. Yes. So your essential soul, the mm -hmm. person that's on the inside, mm -hmm. what does that say or what is it telling you who you are? Now I heard you say what people think, but mm -hmm. what's your essential soul telling you that you are who? I am a queen. You are a, <laughs> I queen. Am a queen. Love that. No, uh -huh. I'm very loving. I love people. And I'm very happy. And I, I look, like to bring people joy. Um, so I, I really think now that I'm learning more about myself, um, I'm learning that a gift that I have is bringing people joy. Um, I'm, I don't hold grudges. I'm not an angry person. Now, I can get angry, but mm -hmm. I'm not naturally angry. Yes. Um, I'm a child of God. I love Ooh. me some Jesus. <laughs> okay. yes. I love me some Jesus. Um, and I, I just love people, and I just love the world, and I like... I really enjoy life, and mm -hmm. so my whole thing is really living, trying to live in the moment, not really focused on what society wants you to do, what society's uh -oh. telling you to do. Uh oh. Just live. Be okay. happy. Do what makes you happy. So I got a question yes. for you. Are you ready to open up Pandora's box? Uh, yes. Are you ready to see what's <laughs> yes. on the inside? Yeah. Let's you open are ready. It up. You yeah. can handle it. Yeah. I, I can think you it. can. We're yes. going to find out if you can. <laughs> we're going to be back because we're going to find out if Kirsten can really handle what she thinks she can handle. Yes. Don't go away. You do not want to miss this when something tell me you do not. <laughs> Welcome back to Curiosity. I'm your host, Renee Pinard, and I have a strong woman sitting next to me, Kirsten. But guess what? This is the reveal. Are you yes. ready for the reveal? I am. Okay, so let me just give you this little scene. So when you open up Pandora's box, it may not always be what you think is right. inside there. And you're ready for it. I am. You're strong. I am. You can handle it. Yes. So let me ask you another question. Have you ever heard of the black sheep effect? I have. And what does that mean? <laughs> No, you put me on well, That's all right. Well, let me tell you what it means. <laughs> it means that what you hear from other people, do you accept it? Or is there's truth to what they're saying? Or do you just ignore it? Mm -hmm. So are you ready to accept, yes. ignore, or to be strengthened by what you hear? I'm ready to accept and be strengthened by what I hear. All right, then. So let me tell you what your friends say. Give me your hands. They say that you are... Very, very strong. And I can yeah. see that myself. Okay. <laughs> they say you are very intelligent. Aww. And I can see that myself. They also say you're loving and kind. And they say you want people to win. Yes. I do. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's so Isn't that sweet. nice? Mm -hmm. yes. But they also said, uh huh, <laughs> you ready for this? Yes. I'm that if ready. they say something about you that you don't like, you're going to let them know that you don't like it and tell them how it is. Yes. Is that true? That is very true. Now, why would you do that? What brings that up out of you? Because I'm, I'm honest. And so I just feel like everybody has a different way of communicating. Uh -huh. And so when someone communicates to me in a way that I don't necessarily like, I will let you know. That I don't like it. <laughs> so are they communicating to you about something you don't necessarily like or something you don't want to hear? Probably a little bit of both. So when somebody tell you something you don't want to hear, you do what? Give me a demonstration. Initially, I'm going to shut down. Initially. Mm -hmm. Initially. You think it, about it. Depends it. On, it depends on who it's coming from and how it's being delivered. Okay, so let me give you another thing. Mm -hmm. You ready for this? Your queendom ship. Your kingdom your queendom, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, are you the type of queen that's going to just chop off a head if you don't hear what you like? Mm -hmm. Are you the type of queen that's going to build up your kingdom mm -hmm. where you get all praise and gold and glitter all around mm -hmm. there? Or are you going to be the type of queen just turn your back and find you another place to reign? Um, I'll take the first one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not, well, actually, you no, you just cut off a head. No, no, no. I don't, I don't think... Either of those, actually. Okay. I don't think any, either of those describe me. Well, you know what? They also <laughs> said that you want people to win and that you're loving and that they're kind and that they appreciate you. Yeah. You just had that one little remark about chopping off somebody's <laughs> head if they don't say something that you like. So let's see what you're going to do about that when we come back. Yeah. Come on, Queen. Hold my hand. We'll be right back. We're going to find out what's going to happen to the kingdom. <laughs> Queendom. Here we go. See you after the commercial. We are back, and I'm here sitting with a beautiful, beautiful woman, Kirsten, and I want to ask her a question, and that has to do with what was revealed to her. She is definitely a loving person. We found that out. She's a giving person, and she wants everyone to win. She only had one negative comment. <laughs> Somebody said when you tell her something that she really doesn't want to hear, she will let you know about it. In other words, I said in her kingdom, she will chop your head off and not think anything about it. So, can you grow from that? Oh, yes. How absolutely. do you see yourself growing from that I comment? I am growing from that. Tell um, me how. And that, it's a lifelong journey. I, I, as I got older, um, you start to realize some of the qualities and things and characteristics that you have that you can work on. And one of those things is my defensive nature. Um, I can be very defensive at times, but now I'm in a space where I'm more open to receiving. I love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, more, I'm in a space where I'm more open to receiving um, just things about myself from the people who care about me in a more loving way and not necessarily a defensive way. Um, and so I'll definitely have my times where I cut somebody's head off. Uh -huh. um, but just, I think it's, I think that's natural. I, I just feel like everybody has different ways of experiencing, different ways of learning and communicating. And it's all in, in how you come back from that so whenever there is a time where I might chop somebody's head off like I said I don't hold grudges and so there's always a line of communication after that with the people who are in my space and the people who are close to me there's always a, a communication after that an apology a, a coming apology back from, from that, who from, from you from me yeah okay, definitely from both, from both okay. ends you know uh -huh. and um just just an understanding that I love them anyways mm -hmm. and and they love me anyway and I think that's the biggest thing because the most of the people who will be able to say that about me are people who are my friends and my close family. Um, and so they're the people who know me. They know me best. So let me ask you a question. Tell me one incident where you knew I shouldn't have said that. I responded too soon, felt that in your heart, mm -hmm. and you wanted to make that change. Mm -hmm. Do you have one that you think about? Off the top of my head, let's see. Would you share with us what you said to the man when you were a young girl at three years old? Oh, see, but see, that's, uh, a, that's, that's what that's your friend told me about that one. Yeah, that's uh, a different situation. Okay, that well, tell three. me about, tell me three. Tell me about something um, then from that. The, what, that I asked him if he was pregnant? Oh, <laughs> and what you were three years old yeah, and you said I was that? in the mall and I asked the man if he was pregnant. I don't find and any And did you feel like when he that? said no, did you tell him you didn't think he was telling the truth? I, I don't feel bad that <laughs> I was three. So now that you're not three, tell me an incident. Um... I want everyone to see how you Let's grew. Let's see. Can you Let's think see. of one? 
I mean, there's there there's a lot. The last one. The last one. Mm -hmm. The last one. I would probably say the other night with my husband. Uh -oh. <laughs> we we have those often. Uh huh. But we gonna say that there's a difference between marriage and friendship. That's all yes. I got to say. Yes. We'll be right back. Don't go away. You are a wonderful person. Thank I'm glad you. that you have grown. Thank it's great. You. Give me a hug, girl. Yeah. Welcome back. My name is Renee Punyard, and we have our special guest, Kirsten, and this is Curiosity. You know what they say, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brings it back. So I want to know, are you satisfied with what your friends have said, and how are you going to change that and take that information and make it a part of you? Yes. I am satisfied with what they said. Um, a lot of what they said is things that I, I know about myself um, and that, that actually makes me happy to know that I, I now know um, how other people see me and I, I see myself in a lot of the same ways um, other people that are close to me. Um, and I, how I see myself going about moving forward, um, definitely just continuing to grow um, and learning from learning from other people and learning how to build relationships and how to keep and sustain relationships and my role when it comes to, you know, building relationships, being a daughter, a friend, a wife, a okay, sister. Okay, so here's the, here's the scene. Put this in your head, mm -hmm. okay? You were out with your friends. Mm -hmm. Now someone has said something that just ticks you off, mm -hmm. give you that little thing, mm -hmm. right? I want to know why would one of your friends, as positive as you are, mm -hmm. would feel hurt or bothered by the fact that when they say something to you, that you would snap at them? What brings that out of you? Where did that come from? Is it because you're a baby of the three sisters? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where does that come from? Um, I think it just comes from not learning or not really learning how to communicate effectively. Um, as I was growing up, there was a lot of things that I kept to myself, didn't really communicate about. Um, and so when you're a child and you bottle up so many things, like sometimes when when somebody tells you something that you don't necessarily, wasn't your intention, mm -hmm. um, and that's how they took it, it, it hurts you. Mm -hmm. And that hurt would come out in a way that is not necessarily productive or not necessarily nice to somebody else. So you have two older sisters. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they had an effect on the reason why you respond and feel the need to defend yourself or you're saying, hey, look at me, look at me? No, um, I have a great relationship with my sisters. I definitely mm -hmm. don't think... Um, I think that they helped. If anything, that my relationship with them would have helped. Um, I think it's more so outside figures growing up like mm -hmm. people who aren't your immediate family but you know they are your family and so mm -hmm. people you know when you're a kid labels that people put on you okay um and and it's like when you're a child people tell you who you are instead of ah, you know, trying to get, get to know who you are and mm -hmm. so when you're a child and you're battling with who you know you are or who you think you are and who the world's telling you you are it, it Okay, so let's go back to North Carolina. Okay. To your university. Yes. Okay. Yes. Here you are. Mm -hmm. Already got these feelings and emotions. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with strangers, new people, people who are not a part of your family. Mm -hmm. How did you handle that when someone said something to you that made your queendom go a little bit out of place? Oh, it didn't go too well. It didn't no, go too well? No, so no. What no. happened? Tell me what happened. It didn't go too well. Um, I'm just thinking like... In early, early in, in college, like uh -huh. freshman, sophomore year, that kind of thing, um, in dorm, in the dorm room, and, uh -oh. you know, having, So, come having, on, girl, tell me something. I need, I need the meat of it. So, what <laughs> happened to you in that dorm room? Just uh, having roommates or um, people who you necessarily don't, you know, you just don't, don't vibe with, uh -huh. right? Um, what, and you do? There, what you do? What you do? What you do? Oh, I've got I've gotten a few arguments for uh -huh. sure. Definitely gotten a few arguments. Um, definitely was something that after the argument we were able to become friends again or at least associates. Um, but 
I don't like when people bring me out of my character. It's rare that mm -hmm. you can bring me out of my character, but when I feel disrespected or um, like my character is attacked, um, then I sometimes go into attack mode. Uh, but I have. So when you had... were in school and you're walking down the dorm, nobody was like, "Move out of Kirsten." Oh no, 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 nothing no, no, like for that. Sure. No, but they like, just knew yeah. what to say, what not to say. Yes, yes. Now yes. you're a teacher. Yes. You're teaching young people. Yes. What do you teach your young people about that? Um, just one, be okay with making mistakes mm -hmm. um, because none of us are perfect and we're not always going to do things how people want us to do them. And that's okay. Um, I think it's more so how you come back from that or just being more mindful in the moment, like before you pop off or before you get upset, just be a little bit more mindful of what the after effects are going to be, whether it's who's around, whether it's how that person's going to feel, whether it's what's it, what's it going to do with that relationship moving forward. Um, just just being more mindful in how we talk to each other. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to Curiosity. I'm your host, Renee Pagnard, and through the reveal, we learned quite a bit about our guest, Kirsten. So I want to ask you a question. You learned that there's someone in your family, your friendship, your kingdom, who feels that you need to take more time before you speak or be careful not to cut someone's head off. How are you going to do that? What does this mean? Does it mean that you're going to drive home thinking about this or how are you going to handle what you heard? The only way I can handle it is to take it to God and mm. ask him to help me through it. Because um, just as I'm growing and as I'm learning, um, I'm learning what my triggers are and I'm learning what those things are that makes me pop off or, you know, get me, that gets me upset. Um, and so when it comes to my relationships and the people that I care about, I need to work on my communication. I have very poor communication skills when it comes to talking about my feelings or if somebody says something to me nine times out of ten, the popping off comes from a reaction of hurt or, mm. you know, that, that it's a, a feeling that I have and instead of expressing that feeling, um, it comes off in a, a not so nice way or in an angry way or a defensive way um, a lot of the time so really listening to them and see how they feel and then expressing how I feel in a more effective way. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy you were with us today. Well guess what? We have to go but we got a great show for you next week. You do not want to miss it. Here. Make sure you understand, curiosity can kill a cat, but not this cat. Satisfaction brought her back. See you next time. NDMeTV.com Everybody Network.